Over 200 years forged the heritage and tradition of United States Navy sea power and its sailors' dedication to service, protecting the lives and freedoms of our nation at home and abroad, at sea and ashore. Today's worldwide challenges requires a new generation of selfless patriots whose conduct is grounded in integrity, everyday heroes whose grit, determination, and dedication to the team guarantee the courage and commitment for mission success in extreme circumstances. Do you have what it takes to be a Navy diver or Explosive Ordnance Disposal EOD technician? U.S. Navy divers play critical roles during times of war and peace. They've used their skills and courage to perform tasks as varied as clearing harbors in Haiti and Iraq, to recovering victims of the Minnesota bridge collapse, and assisting with Hurricane Katrina recovery. They dive the world over in any ocean or body of water. To quote a line from the movie Men of Honor, if it is lost underwater, he finds it. If it's sunk, he brings it up. If it's in the way, he moves it. Jobs of a Navy diver include expeditionary salvage, such as combat salvage, battle damage repair, and ship towing. Their missions also include underwater ship and sub repair and various types of underwater demolition operations. Physically and mentally tough, the Navy diver is a member of an elite team with a tradition of tackling any challenge to get the job done. Do you think you have what it takes to be a Navy diver? Additional adventure seekers are needed for Navy Explosive Ordnance Disposal, or EOD. The Navy EOD technicians are highly trained, skilled warriors who are experts in explosives, diving, parachuting, weapons, and small unit tactics operating in all combat environments. They are the force of choice to enable special operations and conventional units access to denied areas. Navy EOD are the only EOD force that operates underwater. Like the Navy diver, the trained EOD tech must be physically and mentally prepared for their demanding mission. In recent history, Navy EOD technicians have played a critical role rendering safe the improvised explosive devices, IEDs, in Iraq and Afghanistan. EOD technicians render safe and dispose of all types of explosive hazards, including conventional ordnance, improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and weapons of mass destruction, such as chemical, biological, nuclear, and radiological weapons. They conduct demolition of hazardous munitions, pyrotechnics, and retrograde explosives using detonation and burning techniques. Navy EOD supports the most elite units of U.S. Special Operations Command to include direct action support of Navy SEALs and Army Special Forces. They routinely work with the U.S. Secret Service and the U.S. State Department, helping to protect the President, Vice President, and other state and foreign officials and dignitaries. They support the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, U.S. Customs Office, and the FBI, as well as state and local police bomb squads. Their job takes them all over the world, combating IEDs, clearing minefields, preparing coastal areas for amphibious landings, and providing intelligence about potential threats both in the U.S. and abroad. So, do you think you have what it takes to become an EOD technician? If so, we need you. Before you make your decision to join two of the most elite military organizations in the world, we want you to carefully consider what you're signing up for. Some may consider your future training to be extreme. We believe heroes are made and not born. The journey starts at boot camp, the Navy's basic military training in Great Lakes, Illinois. Your first stop, a little personal grooming modification. Your first haircut.
Next, you'll get to make a fashion statement with the new wardrobe you'll receive at Uniform Issue. From here on in, you'll experience the same training thousands of men and women receive each year who join the U.S. Navy experience. However, as a candidate for the Navy Diver EOD School, here's where your experience will differ from the rest. After reporting to basic training, you will be separated and be placed in the 800 Division, where you will begin the long journey to become a Navy Diver or EOD Tech. In the 800 Division, you will concentrate on skills which will help you in the future. After this, you will graduate basic and prepare for the next stop, the Navy Diver EOD Tech Preparatory School, also in Great Lakes, Illinois. It is here that you will go through training to determine if you are comfortable in the water and can safely perform the evolutions required to continue further training. In this training, you will be pushed to your limits. Your physical and mental toughness will be tested. Some of your instinctive fears must be conquered, and these are just the minimum standards to continue. Once you have graduated from the Diver EOD prep course, you will then move on to the Navy Dive School in Panama City, Florida. Here you will perform Diver EOD physical standards tests. You will take part in a variety of demanding training. Build in-water confidence and endurance through bay swims. Pool confidence training. Receive classroom instruction. Gain proficiency in various types of diving rigs. And after enduring what may be some of the toughest, longest days of your life, you will graduate and will become a Navy diver, EOD diver. For those who are going on to become EOD technicians, your training isn't over yet. And from Panama City, Florida, you will travel to the Naval Explosive Ordnance Disposal School at Eglin Air Force Base. Here you will receive both classroom and practical hands-on training. Using EOD tools, you will learn how to identify and render safe explosive hazards including conventional and unconventional ordnance. In each division, you will be tested through rigorous academic and practical testing. You will learn how to operate using the Mark 16 diving rig. And you will learn how to search for, locate, identify, neutralize, raise and tow sea mines. After which, you will attend the EOD pinning ceremony. However, as an EOD tech, there is additional training following EOD school. And that's basic airborne training. That's right, Jump School in Fort Benning, Georgia. At the Fort Benning Jump School, you'll go through Airborne PT. You'll experience Ground Week, where you will learn parachute landing falls. And Tower Week, where you will train by jumping from a tower. And as the final step in a very difficult training process, you will jump out of a perfectly good airplane and parachute down to Earth. After that, graduation awaits. Following Jump School, you will attend Expeditionary Combat Skills Training in Mississippi. Here you will receive weapons training. And combat first aid. Finally, you will attend tactical training in San Diego, California. Where you will receive additional weapons training. and gain experience in a variety of mobility skills. This arduous training experience is only the beginning, but now you will be ready to join your first EOD platoon and prepare for deployment. So whether you choose to become a Navy diver, or a Navy EOD tech, If you are up to the challenge and you are ready to be pushed to your limits, if you want to make a difference and save lives, your position awaits. 
Be part of our team. Be one of the best of the best. Become a Navy diver or explosive ordnance disposal technician. But remember, the journey will be long and difficult. Don't sign on the dotted line unless you're ready to give it everything you've got. We hope to see you on our team.